Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at CFast 2.0 cards. You need them to record RAW on the C200. You need them to record RAW on most cameras. Um, but what do you get for your money? What do you have to pay? And what does that mean? Check it out. Okay, so I have three cards here today. The Computer Bay uh, 128 gig. 37 time, 3700 times 4K video Super, CFAS 2 has a read and write speeds published on it. We have the EODisc Pro um, 512 gig, again, CFAS 2.0, 565 megabytes per second. And last but not least, certainly not least, is the uh, ProGrade Digital 512 gig. It has a nice gold, gold line across it. Two of these cards, the Computer Bay and the Ego Disc, are made in China. Uh, the Pro Grade is made in Vietnam, but the first two are made by Chinese companies, and the last two is manufactured by an American company based here in California. The Computer Bay was the cheapest. It's the least capacity. It's only, you know, a quarter of the capacity of the other two. They don't sell this 128 anymore on Amazon, but they do have a 256 gig uh, that's about $250. Um, I got this. When I, the first week I got my C200 because I was dying to test out RAW and I didn't want to drop, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars on a CFAST card at the time. Um, and this was the same brand that I had used in my um, Magic Lantern uh, kit for the um, 5D Mark III. And if you don't know what Magic Lantern is, it's essentially a firmware hack that lets the 5D Mark III record raw video um, and a lot of my earlier videos on this channel are recorded with it. I have had these cards fail on me. Um, not this particular one, uh, though I did lose a couple of files, um, I think because I switched the camera off before it was recording, but it recovered it. But I have had the uh, other ones fail on me and I've sent them back and forth um, to Amazon. They're pretty good at replacing them. So I would say that this is your, this is your entry level card and your kind of entry level brand if you just want to kind of get your feet wet with RAW, um, experiment with it, don't put a lot of money down. But having said that, um, and on 128 gig, you'll only get about 16 minutes of RAW in the C200. But I would say that this is a good entry-level card for people that just want to mess around with it, um, experiment with it, see what they can get from it before they commit to a more expensive form of media and a bigger card. Nothing wrong with Computer Bay, but it is the cheapest that you can get, and uh, that comes with some sacrifices. Next, we have the Ego Disc Pro. Now, these guys. Um, sell a lot of cards because when they started selling them, I think the mi middle of last year, end of last year, they were the only um, 256 gig cards under $500. I think they were three or $400. This 512 gig, um, which like I said, will get you 65 minutes of raw on the C200 is $650 on Amazon plus tax. Um, they also sell a faster capacity one, the same capacity, faster speed one. They also sell uh, a higher one, a gold arrow uh, leafed one um, called the uh, Ego Desk Pro Elite that does 600 megabytes per second. But since the camera um, uh, data rate isn't that high and I haven't had that much uh, success getting that anywhere near that type of speed and you're transferring other card onto the computer, I think you can pretty safely um, get the Egotist Pro, not the Elite. Great, really great cards, good brand, been using it um, consistently, never had an issue with any file for about uh, six or seven months. And then that time I've shot hours and hours, like hundreds and hundreds of clips and never had an issue with reading, with writing, never had issue with data corruption. Um, made in China, Chinese company, um, have had a couple of communications with them um, about different things on Facebook, because that seems to be the only, um, that seems to be the only channel that they respond to. Um, so can't give you a lot of information about the company per se. I've only heard good things. And uh, lastly, we come to the ProGrade Digital. This is a new company, um, that manufactures cards in Vietnam, uh, based in California, um, in the Silicon Valley area. It was founded by a bunch of guys um, who left uh, SanDisk and Lexa. Just saw that those professional level cards that are you know over a thousand dollars for this 512 capacity, in their opinion, um, not really giving the consumer value for money and sort of resting on their on their um, laurels of being a trusted brand. So they set out to to do something different, 
and um, these are only $50 more expensive um, than the Egodis Pro 512 and cheaper than the um, Egodis Pro Elite. I reached out to these guys, found them very responsive. Um, like I said, they're based in Silicon Valley. They sent me a whole bunch of data of how they make their cards, how they test their cards. I can only repeat to you what I learned from them um, because I've only had this card for a couple of weeks. Uh, so far, absolutely flawlessly. Um, the transfer speeds to the computer are comparable with the Ego Disc, um, if not a little higher. Their take on it was that that most manufacturers basically either source their cards from a third party and put a name on them. I'm pretty sure Computer Bay does that. Um, there's no Computer Bay factory in China, but they make their own cards. Um, they have control of the testing process and they have a thing called DVT, uh, design verification testing, where they don't just put the card in after it's manufactured and check it, but they run a complete analysis of it and check every single location on the card. Um, so it's like a 45 minute process versus a, you know, other manufacturers might have a 45 second process, if a process at all. Very responsive, um, very transparent uh, local company that's trying to um, make cards available to, to filmmakers um, and photographers at a, at a much more reasonable rate, but still with a really high uh, degree of quality and degree of accountability. So if you're shooting a feature film, if you're shooting, um, you know, mission critical stuff, if like sports or celebrity stuff, uh, I would invest the extra $50 and go with um, the ProGrade Digital. We'll see uh, how quickly prices come down. Um, and it's sort of been a race to the bottom so far. So we get all these new brands. Um, ProGrade Digital have kind of put themselves out there and they're the first ones to bring to market a one terabyte card, which will get you about two hours of footage for all you um, documentarians out there that wanna just roll. So you have a brand, a manufacturer capacity for all different uses. And my advice would be um, go for a bigger card than you think you need, because I, I bought this 128 gig when I just wanted to check it out. I really liked it. And then I had to spend more money on the 256 and the 512. Um, so I have this 16 minute capacity card that I'm really not gonna do much with. I'm gonna keep shooting um, things like this kind of comparisons, because I know that lots of feedback that I've got from the channel so far is what stuff do I use? How do I use it? How did I choose what I chose? Um, and what's the process that goes into that? So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.